Do do do. Start up. Ow. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Chris and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be upgrading the Tiny Hawk 2 Emax Race. We're going to be upgrading the pins here. If you don't know about these series, this is the same board as the, I believe, the Tiny Hawk 2 and the Tiny Hawk 2 Freestyle. But one thing you'll learn in the hobby is you always want to mod, upgrade, and all that stuff. We're going to change the JST PH 2.0 connectors. Yeah, I know that's a mod fool. To an actual XT30. Um, I'm mainly doing this because I hear for the same size battery, this is a GNB 450, but it's a 2S, and this is the XT30 connector. Supposedly you get more power, more consistent flight time, I should say. And with these, you get about uh, three to four minutes, but supposedly with this, you can get four to five. With the 2S, um, I notice with these batteries from takeoff, as if you do a punch out or you do a launch right from the beginning, you already get a low battery warning is already. So yeah, we're just gonna be converting this over. I'm not an expert in this, uh, in soldering whatsoever. I'm not sponsored by any of the companies or brands or objects. So to do this project, you basically need a basic surface. This is a silicon pad I picked up, Tiny Hawk. It's probably easier if you remove the props, but I'm just gonna leave them on. You need a set of xt30 pins you need the both the male and the female side the male goes to the battery so don't have to worry about that people recommend is you actually put this in like this and you solder it together it'll dissipate the heat and this you won't melt the plastic that's around it you want some shrink wrap this came with a kit going with the colors positive is red negative is black we're gonna slide these over the existing pins nothing too crazy you need a soldering iron Flux, I highly recommend this. It'll make for better soldering connection. Wire strippers, scissors, if you don't have wire strippers. And then solder. When I tin the wire, basically we're melting solder and putting it on the ends of the connection here. I think that's everything. First, we're gonna cut off this. Uh, do not throw this away. We can actually make an adapter. So basically, what we're gonna do is just take our water, wire cutter, chop it off across here. I did it, easy, no turning back now. All right, so the next step is to use your wire cutter and maybe a millimeter or two off the ends. Makes it a little bit easier to strip it. There we go. And we're gonna do that with the, that was the positive side, so I'll take out the negative side. Positive and negative, I took it just a little bit off the ends. And this is just enough for this to connect. I just plug, plugged in my solder here, so I'm just waiting it for it to heat up. Positive is flat, and that's how you tell. But also, if you look in the bottom, it also says positive. We're going to pre-tin, so we're going to put solder at the end of these uh, joints. And then by doing that, we can just simply melt and put it together. This is flux. As you can see, it's like a gel thing, and basically it helps the solder to stick. So I'm going to just stick some at the end. And then we're going to do that the same thing here. We're going to put some of that on here. All right, so I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna melt a little bit of solder onto the end part here. You can see it's smoking. I'm gonna put a nice little ball there. And then we're just gonna flip this around. Okay. And then do it on this side as well. Part is gonna come off. Just like that. Clean the tip like this. Make sure your end is nice and clean. So we're gonna be, be repeating those steps for the end of the wire here. I put it on this jig and again we just want to break off a little bit and then make sure it's melted onto this wire. Okay. And that's all you need, it's pretty quick and getting clean. We're going to take a little bit of these shrink wraps we're going to put these on here and you don't need that much, maybe like half an inch. Okay. And then what you're going to do is slide the red one on the red side, the black one on the negative side. What you want to do is put the plus side, which is the flat side here, attach it to the red wire. I'm going to orient it so that it's a little bit easier to work. And just take your time doing this. What you want to do is hold the, the end towards the part that you want to connect. I seem to have transferred the ball. <laughs> Okay, so it's attached, it's not moving anywhere, and now we're going to repeat with the bottom side here, the negative. So it's going to be a little bit more tough, but basically just kind of hold the pressure and it should connect. But we're just going to lightly hold this together. And yeah, that's it. So we have the XT30 connected. 
All right, soldering is done, so let's just remove this. So basically push these, uh, put your heat shrinks down uh, as far as they can go. I like to see if I can get them into the base like this. And get your lighter. I'm using um, just a lighter here. You can use a heat gun if you have it. And just be careful that you don't melt your props. All you need is a couple of blasts. And you can see they're starting to shrink here. That's all she wrote. You can see the XT30s are on here. And this tip really helped. This thing is actually kind of hot right now, but it did keep everything in place from melting all over the place. And uh, yeah, that's it. So to test it out, I have, I do have a XT30. Uh, this is a 2S battery. So positive is red, negative. So we did that. And if we put it together, it should do -do -do start up. Ow. And it works. So we know that, and the colors make it easy, red to red, black to black, and it's all charged up. And from what I hear, you get at least five minutes with this battery cruising, and you can do more punch outs than with the individual 2S battery. All right, going for my maiden flight here with the XT30 uh, on the Tiny Hawk 2 race. And right off the bat, I would have already got a low battery warning with the first punch out overall uh, i do feel a big difference um less battery sag yeah just it just seems to just pick up and go especially with this little racer here it just wants to keep going um i am flying a little bit aggressive as i don't really know what i'm doing but trying some flips trying all what i can do to see if i can get a low battery warning and um, I do get one about a minute in or so. Um, so I, uh, again, this is the maiden flight. I didn't really get, oh, there, I got the very first uh, warning, but it recovered really well. Uh, and I was able to do a few more flips. So yeah, enjoy the rest of the flight. I do apologize for the graininess. I will be doing another modification in the future to address the VTX. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the office. Alright guys, so hopefully you guys learned something today. I don't solder very well. I definitely recommend getting one of these silicon pads. It helps with the cleanup flux. Uh, makes it easier to solder. If you can happen to get the kit of the, the male and female side of the XT30, hook them together and make sure you connect it right. That'll help with and um, preventing you from melting the plastic. I, I soldered it. Again, I suck at it, but I did it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Do you guys have any soldering tip? I'd love to hear a comment below. Yeah, I kind of just want to keep making these videos about just the progress in myself. Not only flying FPV, but things that go behind the scenes with FPV. Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button if you want to see the next episode. And until next time, you guys, be safe, fly safe, and see you guys next time. Bye. Oh,